think I had been surfing for about an hour or hour and a half. Shannon has no idea that there are sharks around today. I started paddling for this wave, and just before I was about to stand up and ride the wave, two sharks came for me. The shark on Shannon's left bites his hand and surfboard and sends his legs flying into the air. Then it drags him and his board under, just as another shark moves in. The second shark narrowly misses Shannon as he gets pulled beneath the waves. And the shark on the right was going for my head and my shoulders. But it missed me, fortunately, because the shark on the left got me first. Time slows down for Shannon. And I remember just staring at the shark face to face with his mouth wide open. And I could see his one eye staring right into my face. And I could see all of his teeth. The fears and the thoughts and the emotions I was going through were just indescribable. I was 15 years old. I wanted to surf, and yeah, these sharks just attacked me, and I'm about to die. And then the shark swam past me to my right and around me, and then bumped me from behind and just shoved me forward. So I swam to my board, and as I did that, I saw my fingers hanging off my hand and blood just squirting and rushing out of my hand and fingers. No one stayed in the water to help me out. Everyone just bailed and left me in the water all to myself. And at the same time, the ocean went dead flat. And I was looking to my right and to my left all the time, waiting for these sharks to come back for me any second. I prayed and said, hey, Jesus, please, like, I need some help here. Please help me out. And all of a sudden, this wave came out of nowhere, and all my fear just disappeared. As he catches the wave to the beach, Shannon's fellow surfers finally come to his aid. One guy tied a leash around my arm, and another guy wrapped a towel around my hand to prevent the bleeding. Shannon's brother rushes him to the hospital. The first thing I asked the nurse was, whether I was gonna lose my hand or not. And she was like, no, you'll be okay. And after that moment, I was extremely happy and relaxed and stoked to be alive. 